one. Hey, Denver and Mayor Hancock here. It's now time for Friday Mail with the Mayor. I know it's been an amazing week with the weather we've had, but in true Colorado and Denver fashion, we are experiencing on this Friday beautiful sunshine and very, very comfortable temperatures, and this week is going to be even more beautiful. But guess where I am? Today I am sitting in one of my favorite restaurants in all of Denver, Weldon Street Cafe, uh, where you can get some great soul food and Caribbean food. For over 20 years, this family has been here serving the people of Denver, and my wife and I just absolutely love to come here. If you ever get here, enjoy the, the wings and enjoy the pate. you got to try You will love, absolutely love this restaurant, and you'll love the people. Uh, when you get here. Uh, listen, I want to talk to you briefly about what we've been dealing with this week. As you might recall, on Monday, City Council passed a bill to repeal the pit bill ban, at least to partially repeal the pit bull ban and to require uh, dog owners, those who own pit bulls, to uh, permit the dog and uh, to uh, continue annually to uh, report any bites or what the dog gets loose in the city of Denver. We have received, I have been told, over 900 emails, uh, a couple hundred phone calls into the office. You have been blowing up uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, emails into my office. Thank you. This kind of feedback is very helpful. I just want to give you my perspective and why I come uh, to this, don't come to this decision very lightly. I grew up in this city and I watched uh, in the late 1980s when uh, Denver faced uh, repeated uh, attacks by pit bulls, some fatal. And if I recall correctly, in 1988, 1989, the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, uh, if you will, was a, the mauling and the fatal mauling of a two-year-old child in Denver by a pit bull. Um, and so I know a lot has changed, a lot more information has been made available in terms of the temperament and the attitude of pit bulls, as well as just a general conversation around uh, breed specific uh, uh, bands. And so I've been taking the time this week really just to pour over all that material and to make sure that this decision of mine is thoughtful and informed. Um, I have to make a decision by the end of uh, Sunday, really, but today, if I'm going to uh, veto the bill, I must inform the sponsor and city council of that so they can prepare on Tuesday for their vote. And so I just want you to know that I hear you, I am reading. Um, my number one responsibility in sworn oath is to protect the safety well-being of the people of Denver. And as I read the materials, I'm keeping that in the front of my mind. How do I do that, whether to sign the bill or while in the process of signing the bill or vetoing the bill and what's in the best interest of the people of Denver. So thank you for the honor and privilege to serve you and just know I don't take this lightly. One way, one decision or another, there are very valid conversations and arguments on both sides. Um, but trust me, I've been praying, I've been thoughtful, uh, I've had dreams about pit bulls uh, since this all started Monday night, and uh, I am given great deal of consideration to both arguments. So thank you. I think we should also, while I'm at it, just applaud Councilman Chris Herndon. He handled this correctly. He did communicate with us. He did work with us for many months. And by the way, for years, he's been talking about wanting to do this. He and I have had many conversations about it. So this is not about Councilman Chris Herndon, a dear friend and someone I think very highly of as one of our great thoughtful leaders in the city of Denver. So thank you all very much. Y'all have a great weekend. Get out there, enjoy the sun. Enjoy the great sun that we're going to have this weekend. I understand, I hate to tell you this, uh, then early next week we have another front coming in. But Monday is a holiday in the city of Denver. We will not be open. So if you get the benefit of a three-day weekend because of President's holiday, enjoy your weekend. God bless you, and we'll talk to you next week.